Hey everyone, welcome back to Dan's How To Videos. Today I'm going to be going through Windows 8 with you once again, and I'm going to be showing you some of the best shortcut keys that you can use with Windows 8. This should help a lot of users, especially if you're moving from a Windows Vista or Windows 7 to Windows 8. Things have changed a little bit, so the shortcut keys will help you bring back some of the old settings. Anyway, let's get started. All right, so we've got a lot to cover here. This is gonna be 50 keyboard shortcuts for Windows 8, so I'm gonna to try to keep my rambling to a minimum. So we'll jump right into it. And the first one we're gonna do is to show your desktop. Now from this screen here, you can do it in two ways. You can push the escape button on your computer, or you can push the Windows key plus the letter D, and that'll take you to your desktop. Now if you're on the internet, the escape button won't take you. You will need to press Windows key and D to go back to your desktop. Next up, we have opening the charms menu. Now, I know a lot of you wanted to get rid of the charms menu, but if you do want to access it, what you do is press the Windows key and the letter C, and it'll bring up your charms menu. All right, so the next four are also going to be using the charms menu here. So if you have no interest in the charms menu, skip ahead. The first one is the charms menu search, and to access that, you need to press the Windows key and the letter F, and it'll bring up your search feature here so you can access your apps and settings. To access the share section, you press Windows key and the letter H, and it'll open up the share. If you want to access your devices in the charms bar, you press the Windows key and the letter K, it'll bring up your devices. And then finally, if you want to access the charms menu settings, you press the Windows key and the letter I. Another way to search for files and applications is to press the Windows key and the letter Q, and this one's going to be specifically targeting your apps, but you can just click through to the section you want and search for whatever you want through this page. Moving along here, if you want to cycle through open modern UI apps, you press the Windows key and tab, and it'll go ahead and open that up, and you can access everything you want from here. Also, if you press Windows key and the period button here, it's going to give you somewhat of a split screen look, and uh, you can actually access other things. So if I go into, let's go to the games here, you'll see that I'll have a split screen where I can access everything here as well as everything on the right. If I go back to my YouTube page that I was looking at here, I have the Xbox games on the left, and you can move this around any way you want. It's just a cool little feature. Next up, we have a temporary view of your desktop. So anywhere on your computer, if you're not on your desktop, screen and you want to take a quick look at it what you do is hold the windows key down and press the comma don't let go of the windows key until you're finished looking at the desktop when you're finished let go of the windows key and it'll return to the page you were just looking at now to close any modern UI apps you have open like games or something like that what you need to do is hold the alt key and press f4 and it'll go ahead and close it to quickly access your hard disk or your windows explorer all you need to do is press the windows key and the letter e now to quickly lock your PC, what you need to do is press the Windows key and the letter L. Obviously I'm not going to do this or I'm going to lose my recording here, but you get the idea. Now to cycle through the icons on your taskbar, all you have to do is press the Windows key and the letter T, and consistently pressing T is going to move it across your icons and then once you find the icon you want just press enter and it'll go ahead and launch it next up we have one of the best shortcuts here and it's the advanced window setting menu what you need to do is press the windows key and the letter x and a whole bunch of settings will pop up on the left side here and they're really useful so definitely remember this shortcut now if you got a bunch of windows open here and you want to minimize them all really quickly what you need to do is press the windows key and the letter m so go ahead and minimize everything bring you back to your desktop now to restore all the minimized windows, all you need to do is push the Windows key, the Shift key, and the letter M, and it'll restore all the windows. Now if you want to open the Run dialog box, it's as simple as pressing the Windows key and the letter R. Next up, we've got a couple of shortcut keys here that are going to be running through the arrow keys. First one being a resize of your page. So if you're on a website and you want to bring it back to its original size, what you do is push the Windows key and the down arrow. It'll bring it back to its original size. And once you're in this section here, you can actually move it to the right or the left. What you would do is press the Windows key, push the left arrow to move it to the left. And then to move it to the right, you'd push the Windows key and then the right arrow to move it to the right. And if you want to return it back to its maximized form, the Windows key and the up arrow will do that for you. Next up is the task manager. If you ever have a program that's not responding and you want to open the task manager, it's as simple as pressing control, shift, and escape all at the same time, and you can go ahead and end any unresponsive tasks. Next up we have the print screen or screen capture feature, and that's basically pushing the Windows key and the print screen button. Now it should appear in your pictures folder on your computer. It didn't appear for me. So what I use as my screen capture option here is uh, any page you want, 
just push the function key and the print screen then go ahead and open a draw application like Microsoft Paint and then push control V it'll save it there and you can save it wherever you want let me know if this one worked for you because it's not working on my Windows 8 another cool shortcut that I really like is a deleting without sending it to your recycling bin and what you need to do is just select the file click the shift button and the delete button and it's going to say do you want to permanently delete this folder or file and I'm going to say yes and as you see the recycling bin stays empty. Alright so that was part one of the shortcut keys for Windows 8. Part two will be up later on this week so definitely subscribe up top to be notified when I post that video. Also like the video if you found it helpful or enjoyed it. Anyway guys thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.